Good day to all our home learning partners, teachers, and Mandunung learners. Welcome to Project eDream, the vision, remediation, and enhancement of aptitude in mathematics. I'm Teacher Aldin, your math buddy for today's lesson. We are now in Mathematics 5, Quarter 2, Week 2. And our lesson is adding and subtracting decimal numbers through thousands. We deal with the addition and subtraction of decimals in everyday life. It takes a big role in our day-to-day -day living in dealing with money, measurement, and temperature. Today, you are going to engage in adding and subtracting decimal numbers through thousands with and without regrouping. So first, we will discuss adding decimal numbers through thousands. Let us take this problem. The delivery man rode 4 and 22 hundreds kilometers to make his first delivery item and 3 and 4 hundreds kilometers to make the second delivery. How far did he travel in delivering items? To solve the problem, we must know what is asked. The distance he traveled in delivering items and the operations that we are going to use is addition. We can solve the problem by following these steps. Step number one, write the decimal in column form. Align the decimal points. 4 and 22 hundreds plus 3 and 4 hundreds equals. Step number two, add as a whole numbers. Add the digits belonging to the same decimal place. So 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. And 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Step number 3. Write the decimal point in the sum. Place the decimal point of your answer below the decimals. Therefore, the answer to the problem is 7 and 26 hundreds kilometers. Okay, so let's try this activity number 1. Write in column form, align the decimals, then perform the indicated operation. Write your answer inside the box. Number 1, 4 and 250 thousands plus 2 and 412 thousands is equal to N. First, we're going to write the decimal numbers in vertical form or in column form. 4, 4 and 250 thousands plus 2 and 412 thousands equals N. Then let us add 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Then 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Then 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. And then write the decimal point below. So the sum is 6 and 662 thousands. Number 2 5 and 64 thousands plus 7 and 34 thousands is equal to N. So we're going to write those numbers in column form. Then add 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So we're going to write 2 and regroup it to the next. Okay, 1. Then 1 plus 0 and 0 is equal to 1. 
then write the decimal point below. So the sum is 1 and 298 thousandths. Okay, number 3. 1 and 3 tenths plus 264 thousandths plus 3 and 5 tenths is equal to n. Write in column form. Okay, be sure that all decimal points are aligned. And then add 4. You may also add zeros here so that they are all the same. But it's okay if not. So 4, then 6. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 5 is 10. So we're going to write 0, then regroup 1. Then 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, plus 3 is equal to 5. Then write the decimal point below. So the sum is 5 and 64 thousandths. I hope that you learned adding decimal numbers through thousands. Now let's now proceed to lesson number 2 which is subtracting decimal numbers through thousands. Let us take a look at this another problem. Golden Harvest Rice Company produced 2,000 kilograms of rice. How many kilograms of rice was left after selling 1,475 and 5 tenths kilograms? Because we're going to find the number of kilograms of rice left, so we need to subtract. So the operation is subtraction. We can solve the problem by following these steps. Step number one, write the decimals in column form. Align the decimal points. 2000 minus 1475 and 5 tenths equals step number two add zero or zeros after the last digit at the right of the decimal point so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places before adding zeros put the decimal point Step number 3, subtract the decimal numbers starting on the leftmost part numbers going to the right. Regroup if necessary. So 0 minus 5 cannot be. So we need to borrow it from 0. This will become 9 and then this will become 10. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Then remember we have also borrowed here. This 0 will become 9. So that 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. Then another we borrowed it. So this 0 will become also 9. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. And then this 2 will become 1. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So no need to write it. Then put the decimal point. So in the problem given, the answer is 524 and 5 tenths kilograms of rice left. Let's try this activity number 2. Read and do the indicated operation. Arrange the numbers in a column form inside the box together with your answer. Number 1. 8 and 752 thousands minus 2 and 817 thousands equals N. So let's solve it together. We're going to write it in column form. Align the decimal point. Then subtract it. Let's start it to the 
right. 2 minus 7 cannot be. So, we need to borrow it from 5. 5 will become 4 and 2 now become 12. Then, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. Then, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 7 minus 8 cannot be. So, let's borrow from 8. 8 will become 7 and 7 will become 17. 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. Then 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Then put the decimal point below. So the difference is 5 and 935 thousandths. Number 2. 40 and 2 hundreds minus 23 and 234 thousands equals N. Let us solve together. Write the numbers in column form. And then let us put 0 here. So, they are, so that they are the same. Then subtract. 0 minus 4 cannot be. So we need to borrow it from 2. 2 will now become 1. And this 0 will become 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. Then 1 minus 3 cannot be. Then let's borrow it from 0. will become 9. And then two, 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. Then 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Then let's borrow it from 0 will be now become 9 and 4 will become 3 then let's subtract 9 minus 3 is 6 then 3 minus 2 is 1 then put the decimal point below so the difference is 16 and 786 thousands Number 3. What is the difference when 28 and 469 is decreased by 18 and 913 thousands? So let us solve. Let's write it in column form. Then subtract it. Start to the right. 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 minus 9 cannot be. So let's borrow it from 8. Then 8 will become 7 and 4 will become 14. Then subtract 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. 7 minus 8 cannot be. Then let's borrow it from 2. 2 will become 1 and 7 will become 17. Then 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So there's no need to write 0 here. Then put the decimal point in your difference. Then the difference is 9 and 556 thousands. Let us remember, to add decimals, write down the numbers one under the another in a straight column or in vertical order with the decimal points lined up. Number 2, add us in whole numbers. Align the decimal point in the sum with the decimal points in the addends. If the sum of the digits is 10 or more, regroup. And number 3, use the decimal point to separate the whole number from the decimal number in the sum or difference. 4. To subtract decimals, align the decimal point and subtract as in whole numbers. And number five, regroup the decimal if necessary. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Teacher Andin saying, Matsayang mag-aral, tayo nang matuto.